Well, hello marketers. Now, before I get into the post boost campaign for this Meta Facebook Ads project based training course, I would like to walk you through the performance of the existing campaigns. Now, recently we have launched this product catalog campaign with the objective of generating website purchases. However, so far we have not even received one single purchase from this campaign, even after spending 350 rupees. Prior to which we have launched different campaigns. We started our journey with this awareness campaign. The objective of awareness campaign is to generate reach. And after spending 107 rupees, we generated a reach of 82,064. We also launched an Instagram profile visit campaign where the objective is to get visitors on the Instagram profile so that they can eventually like Instagram profile. And this campaign has generated 75 profile visitors in the result column after spending 123 rupees. The next campaign in the line was this traffic campaign for Spring Reels with the objective to get landing page views. And here we have generated 30 landing page views at the cost of 5.51 as the per landing page view. And the total amount which was spent for this campaign was 165. And then we have also launched a page like campaign in this account with the objective of generating page likes. And we have generated 31 page likes in this result column with a cost per like of 8.13 after spending 252. When you post anything on Instagram, something like this, or also you post anything on the Facebook page, which you always get this option of promote post, which means you always get this option of boost a post. However, you can also run this post boost campaign through the ad console. But how do we do that? So this video is all about how do we launch post boost campaign from the Facebook ad console. Now, so all you have to do is to get into the Facebook ads account. People who have never been into ads account, they can simply get into adsmanager.facebook.com and create a fresh account. Now, once you have the ad account available, you have to click on this campaign button that says plus create in the green color and choose engagement as an objective. Now for all the campaigns, we have different objectives. Like for awareness campaign, we have awareness objective. For all these four campaigns, we have engagement objective. So post boost is the part of our engagement objective campaign. So here I have to go with engagement. So we choose engagement and click on continue. You always have to go with manual engagement campaign options. Don't just go with the tailored message campaigns. Then click on continue. We have to wait for a while. And here we are into the first level of the campaign. Any campaign in Meta is having three levels, starting with campaign level. Then we have ad group level, which is also called as ad set level. And then we have the ad level. Now, at the campaign level, we have already selected the campaign objective as engagement. So we are not left to do anything else in this campaign level options. Then we click on next and get into the ad set level the second level of the campaign. And here we have to choose the campaign objective for once again. So here we have to go with on your ad, the second option and the engagement type has to be post engagement. Then in terms of performance goal, we have to choose maximize engagement with a goal. So we always have different performance goals. We can choose additional two goals, which are the maximum daily unique reach and also as maximum number of impressions. So it totally depends on what exactly you are looking in the project. If the idea is to get more eyeballs, you can go with the third one. But usually for any post boost, we go with the objective of maximize engagement so that we can get likes, shares, comments, maybe followers, maybe people to engage on this post. So we go with this option. In cost per result, we are going with the blank option right now. This is something which you can do while optimizing the campaign. And then we have to set up a daily budget. So for this campaign, we are going with a daily budget of 100 rupees only. Now, what I want from you is to look towards my right. And you can see Facebook is saying to reach 203,000 people and generating a post engagement somewhere in between 100 and 400 people. Now, we have to decide or create 
the campaign audiences. So whenever you get into campaign audiences, you get this option of audience suggestion, even though it says op optional, but you always have to click on this option. And then only you have to choose the age range, gender, or the demography, which means the interest and behavior of this campaign. Now, you decide this uh, entire ad set targeting depending on the objective, depending on the brand. In our case, we have already decided the targetings for this project in the media planning sheet, which is for Delhi NCR females in the age range of 18 to 34 for females who are interested in artificial jewelry. The reason why we have selected this target audience is because of the website, because of the project. This project is an artificial jewelry store and these are the products for this store. So you can see these products are more inclined towards females. I really wonder if males would buy the products. They can buy the products, of course, for their girlfriends, for their moms, for their sisters. But then I really doubt them buying these products. I still feel that majority of these products will be purchased by females. That's why we are going with target audience as females, starting with tier A, which means Delhi NCR and the target range range of 18 to 34. So we can just simply put these numbers in these advantage plus audience options. We can go with 18 to 60, maybe 34. And also we can go with gender as females. And additionally, in the detailed targeting, we can click on edit and we can choose the targetings as jewelry so you want to target people who are interested in jewelry but as we have already selected uh this age range and women and gender that's why the ads are going to be targeted to females only so we go with interest of necklace as a jewelry ring as a jewelry we go with interest of earring as a jewelry and we go with interest of wedding rings also as a jewelry so whenever you choose all of these detail targeting, always look at the right hand side to see the estimated audience size. This audience size shall be somewhere more than five like in numbers, which means somewhere around half to one million people. Five lakhs to ten lakhs people. Now we can scroll down and see if we want to target these ads to a particular placement. In our case, we only want to target these ads to Facebook and Instagram. So we can go with Facebook and Instagram only. Now let's say in your case, if you want to target these ads only and only to Instagram, we can uncheck this option of Facebook and go with Instagram. In the placements, we can decide at which placement the ads are going to be shown in Facebook. So we are okay with all these selected placements. We can scroll down and click on show more options to decide the device. In terms of device, Facebook gives us a flexibility where we can go with only uh, all mobile devices or we can go with Androids only. Otherwise, if we have any particular product which relates to iOS, we can go with iOS as the mobile device options. Otherwise, we can go with all mobile devices. Pretty good option. If you have any product where it's going to make sense to show this product only to people who are connected to Wi-Fi. You can check this only when connected to Wi-Fi. So we have all of these settings available in all of the Facebook ad accounts. These are the settings that you have to put at the ad set level. Now we can simply scroll down. I think we have not chosen the target location yet. So this location has to be Delhi. You simply put Delhi over here and then that's it. If you want to add Noida or one more location, you go with adding that location as well. Perfect. Here we also change this from kilometers to the current city only. Otherwise, the ads will be going beyond 40 kilometers. In fact, somewhere any, anywhere in 40 kilometers of Noida. Anyway, so now we are good with locations. We are good with target settings. We are good with all going with all the devices. We are good with choosing Instagram as the only one platform. And it's always recommended for you to go through all of these settings before launching the campaign. Now we click on next to get into the final level of the campaign, which is called as ad level. Ad level is the option where we have to create the ad copy. Now, 
in post boost campaign we actually do not create the creative but we have to choose it choose it from the post which is already posted on facebook or instagram so here we have to go with this option of use as existing post this is fine select post this is also fine we have to go into instagram because this one is going to be instagram campaign and choose any post so we are going with this post second post which was posted on 4th of september we click on continue and then we wait for a while and now we have to choose the call to action call to action could be send message get quote learn more shop now send whatsapp message we can have any of these available call to action buttons so now the ad is going to look like this people who want to share these ads with the clients can simply click on this advanced preview button and share this link with a client otherwise to see the preview for yourself we can extend the preview and the ads are gonna look something like this we are using the send to message call to action button because the objective is to drive engagement on this post so it's okay if people are sending message about this post to us so we click on save over here and it's time to simply publish the campaign but before you do so we have to check if these are the conversations we want from people if you want you can just go through these conversations in in messenger but then we are not running ads in messenger that's the problem so let's go with learn more let's not go with send a message if we go with learn more we shall not be getting any message over here website url is required it's not compulsory but we can still provide the website url how do we copy it so we go on the website we copy this url go back into this account and we click on paste now it says learn more people can like comment or share then we have to enable this website event tracking option this option is needed so we can track how many people are coming on the website after going through this creative and then we can simply click on publish clicking on publish is going to publish our post boost campaign wow so now the campaign is published and that's how you can simply publish your post boost campaign now exercises for people who want to learn digital marketing in depth someone who is really looking forward to become a marketer so uh post boost campaign give me one second post boost campaign post boost campaign all right so first of all i want you to create uh, a page if you have not created it yet create a fb or insta page if you already have this page available then post on fb and insta fb and insta then create two post two pb campaigns pb is like post boost campaigns one for fb and second for insta perfect all right this is for post post campaign now people fr frankly speaking you cannot become an expert without launching all of these campaigns one by one you are required to do all of these exercises in order to become an expert if you can't launch these campaigns then maybe you can watch this video but it won't help you to become an expert if you really want to become an expert you have to do exercises you have to involve yourself in doing these digital marketing activities so this sheet is available for people who want to become a digital marketer i want you to start doing all of these activities after each and every campaign i shall be seeing you in the next video of this project